Hello, I am Dr. Girish Nelvigi. I am a urologist from Nelvigi Multi-Speciality Hospital, Belandur, Bangalore. Today, I want to discuss muscle invasive bladder cancer. Muscle invasive bladder cancer, as the name itself signifies, is a cancer of the urinary bladder which has gone as deep as the muscle of the urinary bladder. This is a serious type of bladder cancer and the treatment is by radical surgery. The name of the surgery is radical cystectomy. Here, the urinary bladder is removed along with seminal vesicles and the prostate and the urinary tract is reconstructed. In women, more organs are removed, that is called anterior eccentration. So it, that includes urinary bladder, part of the vagina, uterus and if the uh, person is elderly, even the ovaries and the urethra. The reconstruction can be done by various methods. The commonest reconstruction is by ileal conduit. Ileal conduit is portion of the small intestine is isolated. The ureters are connected to the ileum and this ileum which measures about 10 to 15 centimeters in length is brought out as a stoma on the skin. So urine from the kidneys goes into the ureters from there to the piece of ileum or the intestine and outside of the body and it is collected in pouch made of plastic. The other type of reconstruction which is commonly employed is orthotopic neobladder. Here the reconstruction is done in such a way that the patient is able to pass urine by natural passage instead of collecting the urine in a plastic bag. However, this is a very complicated procedure with more time taken for surgery and more complications. Many patients, even after removal of the bladder by radical cystectomy, need adjoint therapy like chemotherapy and radiotherapy. The chance of recurrence of cancer bladder with only surgery is extremely high. Therefore, the treatment for muscle invasive bladder cancer consists of three therapies and long and very diligent follow-up so that the patient can lead a comfortable and a cancer-free life. Thank you.